Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's video. I have been watching the monitor this morning because I just got back and from doing chores and I noticed something super crazy. about mocha let's see if you guys can see she's in here she's in this little area here and she was moving around up and down laying down this morning crying at her sides looking back at her sides and crying and i'm wondering if she's starting labor over here you'll see lola and winston they are a love affair in the making let me tell you anyway welcome to today it might be baby day you know it's cold when everybody has to move away from the shelter just to stay in the sun. That's how cold it is. <laughs> Look at though. I just prayed for Lola to have a friend for so long. And oops, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Yes, tell him no. <laughs> but he loves her and she does love him. She does. Oh my goodness. It's so cold, the duck and the goose didn't even come out. So, so it's lunchtime. Sophie and I came down to recheck Mocha. Sophie came down once without me. I came down once without her. But we're gonna check and see what's happening. I don't want to miss this birth, you guys. And Sam did have a dream that Mocha had two little babies and they were both brown. And they looked at the window and they were all up in the horse field. I don't want her to have a baby outside in this weather. It's freezing. Hi. Is he cold? Oh. I can't lock the door. These locks are all so awful. Okay. Is he cold? No. Are you sure? I'm sure. I looked in the camera this morning and he was completely snuggled up to his mom and he never sleeps like that. Are you sure that's not a pop debtor? So the first sign of birth is typically an udder that pops. I keep telling you guys that. And it, sometimes it doesn't get like a whole lot bigger, but it will get what are you doing? <laughs> He's between my legs. Aww. I actually am starting to really get like attached to this little doe. I feel so bad for her. She has no friends. Well, except... she has one friend that she doesn't want. <laughs> yeah. Beggars can't be choosers. Hey. Be nice. Anyways. Like you both the same. Okay, let's catch this one. This one, every time we put a collar on her, she takes it off. I have somebody off. climbing on my back. So basically her udder hasn't popped, but that doesn't make that much of a, I mean, it can make a big difference. With some does, their udder will pop after they give birth. It just means that their udder fills with milk suddenly. So her udder hasn't filled with milk suddenly, but this morning she was laying down, standing up, laying down, standing up. She was changing. He likes to climb on me and yeah. sit with me instead of me picking him up. And she kept looking back and like kept throwing, she kept throwing her head to her sides, both sides, one side, then the other side, one side, then the other side. And she was going, ah, ah. and so I was watching her for a few minutes and then I found her staring at the wall. I'll show you a picture here. So if she's in labor, it could just be super early labor. She's just having a scratch. You know, we would scratch her if she came to us. It's cold. <laughs> it's not cold down here. <laughs> I hope Lola finds another baby that she really likes, a girl baby, Lola, that you can One stay with. Mate with her. One that doesn't try and mate with you. And she's staying with him. What? I'm trading him for Rocky. They're really the same. <laughs> Toby! I don't know if we're gonna keep him. We have more brown goats, but ow! <laughs> ow. <laughs> right in the face. It's so cold out here. Down. All right, go catch that goat. I can't catch her. <laughs> go get grain. Hi. <laughs> he's happy now. Yeah, he's a big happy boy. He's such a happy baby. If we, do you know why though? He's got the mocha temperament. So. He's at his bedtime now. That's why. That's why she's my favorite goat. Because even though she's not friendly, she has the well, best temperament. Friendly. Yeah, and she gave that temperament to both of her babies, so... And her grandbabies. And her grandbaby. Well, Rocky's a scary thing. It's the white goat that I'm afraid of, her temperament coming through her babies, so we're gonna see. What? Winston! Sandwich 
her in between something, like we did with Tilly. Here, I'm better at catching goats. Okay, you do this. Her, her other kind of looks poppy. <laughs> Scared me! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> we just want to catch you. This is important. Her udder does look popping. <laughs> go get, go get the grade. You guys know how like, you guys know how people said. <laughs> He's adorable. You guys know how people said like, oh, don't touch the goat because the baby, because the mother will not love it and blah blah blah. That can be true if you have a wild goat. If you have a domesticated, friendly goat that's been handled. It'll, it eliminates that process and that's why we handle our goats, at least frozen. Are you frozen? All right, pray for us. We're gonna try and catch this goat just so we can see if she's like at the start of labor. And we would use her collar to hold her. Oh, well that was so easy. Okay, hold on, I gotta lock the door. Look at that girth though. Like look at her just belly. Just hurry up. Okay, just wait. <laughs> I just want to feel your butt. Yep, she's got ligaments. She's got all her ligaments still. It's not time. Oh, it's big. Huh? It feels like full. All right, I'm letting go. All right, let go. Thank you. <laughs> her udder looks like it's about to pop. You can't go anywhere by yourself. Uh, all right, let's go. It is honestly too cold for this. Like it is way too cold outside. Yesterday it was in the 50s, high 50s. And then today, way, way below freezing, like probably 20s, maybe even colder. Like it is cold. And then tomorrow it's supposed to be 60. I hate weather temperature. I hate oh, Zoe. temperature. Look at Zoe. Shifts like this. Oh, hello, Zoe. I made a hole there. All right, let's go, because I'm frozen. It is literally freezing outside. Also, I wanted to just take a second and say I cannot believe I had chicken poop in my hair the whole day yesterday. Like, the whole time I was videoing, chicken poop. It was over hair. It was in my hair. I don't know how it got there. Chicken pooped on me. <laughs> Anyways, that's embarrassing. I don't care though, I don't really get embarrassed. But anyway, you guys know that I've been trying to make this room into more of like a den, into more of a room that the grandkids can use and that my teenage kids can use with a TV and, oops, with a TV and just like an area and a carpet and some toys for my grandkids. And uh, Sam picked this up on Marketplace today. He put it in the truck with all the hay. <laughs> it is, uh, it's actually nice to have another couch. Another area that we can sit down, another area that we can sit down in and not like be on top of each other. Because often at night, Sam will wanna watch a movie and, or Sam and I will wanna watch something on TV and the girls will be playing VR or they'll be wanting to watch a movie. Like Gabby often watches movies or uh, often watches shows and there's things that Sam and I don't like. So now that there's like a little couch in here, we can kick them in here. Our girls don't ever use their bedroom. Like I used to always spend time in my bedroom. Not like so, so bad. Like not like some kids. I used to go at the upstairs like and spend lots of time cleaning my room. And I would go up there at night when we were home from school and my sister and I would like listen to the music and stuff. Um, but I spent a lot of time, we didn't have a TV in our room and we would spend a lot of time downstairs with our family. And my kids are exactly the same. They spend a lot of time with us. Another thing I'm super grateful for is that, do you guys remember when I got all those apples in the, in the, in the fall from the orchard? And we, I made a ton of applesauce, like a ton of applesauce. And I froze all of it because nobody eats applesauce but me. And today is so cold outside and I haven't been eating a lot of sugar and I don't know, and I don't know why, but I literally had this craving for applesauce with cinnamon in it. Mm, it smells so good. And so I just have like a freezer full of frozen applesauce and apple cider. And I cannot wait to eat this. So I'm super thankful for apples. It is so cold, like so cold. We're going to put everybody in early. Sam's gonna put the horses in early and put a new round bale. Whew. But I'm so happy I don't have to help with that. Yeah, it's so cold. Like 
I have been watching on the camera all morning and every time they sleep, little Winston is sleeping right curled up next to his mom and he never does that. I just can't get over that tomorrow's gonna be summer. Your mom comes yelling at her baby. It's, oh my gosh, it's minus five in the barn. Is that warm? That's, a, that's so cold. It's just been so much warmer. Come on. <laughs> They're like, it's not that cold. Oh, you're shaking, get in here. Sam did this really fun thing for me. He put this little switch on here so that I can use the hose when I have to feed the duck, when I have to fill the pool. And also I can just use the running water if I need to as well. So super good. She's so happy to have a break from the door. <laughs> Poor little Lola. She's got it so rough. First nobody, she has no friends, and then she has a crazy friend. A friend that won't leave her alone. He tries to run in her stall every single night because he's so interested in her. All right, we're headed up to the house because it is way too cold, man, but not too cold for a swim in your water bucket if you're Lucy. I'm actually so excited that the goats held off and didn't give birth today. Still, both still have ligaments. Because if they just wait one night, we're gonna be in the pluses in the warm weather. Well, and Blossom had ligaments. Yeah, Blossom had so ligaments. She didn't. But she also had an udder pop that we that we ignored because we were waiting for the ligaments to go. We missed it. She must have like lost her ligaments right at the end. So whew. She's like, oh no, I'm not having my baby. Oh, I'm having my, my baby gosh. Hey. Anyway, thank goodness. I'm going this way. We got one more day at least until babies come and it'll be warmer. Sophie, come, you're gonna have to help. Do you guys need help? They got it last time. I helped them last time. Yeah, they're putting on the, they're, okay, bye. <laughs> I have faith in them. I believe they can do it. <laughs> if they can't, they'll call me. Don't you know that you're beautiful?